Hey there, I'm going to show you how to paint Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night using acrylic paint. Vincent Van Gogh was a post-impressionist painter from Holland. His art is characterized by bold colors and expressive brushstrokes. Van Gogh had a hard life. He struggled from years of depression, poverty, loneliness, and romantic disappointments, and only sold one painting during his entire lifetime. Then he died tragically at the young age of 37. While he was described as a madman and a total failure during his lifetime, he is now remembered as one of the greatest, most influential artists in history. Vincent van Gogh painted The Starry Night while he was staying at a mental institution. He actually believed this painting was a failure, which is kind of amazing considering that today it's one of the most famous paintings in the world and it's valued at around a hundred million dollars. Okay, so let's get started. All of the materials I'm using for this project are listed in the description below. I suggest taping your paper down with some painter's tape. I'm going to start by adding a simple beige underpainting. I'm mixing yellow and white and then adding a small touch of brown. Here I'm using a one inch flat brush to add a thin layer of paint across my paper. Once you're done adding this paint, you don't need to wait for it to dry. Right away, you can grab a tiny brush and use white paint to create a rough sketch of the composition. You'll want to add a couple drops of water to your white paint so that it glides on nice and smooth. Don't worry about making your outline perfect. Just try to outline the main parts of the painting. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it because you can paint over it later. Here's what my outline looks like. It's super simple. Now for this next part, you're going to want several different colors of blue. Start adding small, short, dark blue brush strokes. Start in the upper left corner and move right. Follow the movement of the white outlines. Leave space between each brush stroke. You'll want to look at an image of Van Gogh's Starry Night painting while you work. I'm going to add a nice dark blue outline along the hillsides. Now it's time to fill in my sky with a different, lighter, medium shade of blue. Keep referring to Van Gogh's painting as you work but remember that making an exact image of his painting is not the point. You are merely trying to get a feel for this technique. So don't try to make your painting look exactly like his. Just have fun. Here I'm taking a different shade of medium blue and I'm layering back over my sky. My sky doesn't quite look dark enough, so now I'm adding another layer of dark blue brush strokes. Remember to make your brush strokes small and short and leave some space between each brush stroke. Now this is where it starts to get really fun. I'm going to add white and very light, light blue highlights to my painting. Notice how I'm adding the white highlights around the stars. I'm making the swirling wind stream a lot lighter than the rest of my sky, as you can see. I'm also making this lower sky area super light. Continue to layer color onto your sky until you're happy with how it looks. I'm using some curvy blue contour lines to fill in my rolling hills. Try layering several shades of blue right on top of each other to create contrast here. I decided to fill in my foreground with a solid light blue. I'm going to paint my cypress tree using a solid dark green color. If you want to be more like Van Gogh, you can mix in some brown and black brush strokes to your tree. Now it's time to paint the foreground. I ended up painting a light blue chapel, then filling in with a darker shade of blue, then adding rough details with a tiny brush and some black and dark green paint. Here's a close-up of what Van Gogh's foreground looks like. As you can see, there's a lot less detail in my painting, and that's totally fine. As a final touch, I'm going to add some gold and yellow highlights to my stars and sky. Oh yeah, and I'll add a few yellow dots to my village that will look like lights. Once you're all done painting, peel your painter's tape off really carefully. Peel it slowly, and if the paper starts to tear, stop 
and then pull from the other direction. If you enjoyed watching today's video, be sure to subscribe and check out all the other amazing art lessons and tutorials that I have on my channel. Okay, I'm going to be weird here and dub over myself to bring you this special message. I believe the lesson we can take from Van Gogh's life is this. Have faith that even if the world does not recognize the unique gifts you have to offer, you may still be making an enormous and valuable contribution to the world. So even if you fail again and again, like Vincent Van Gogh did, don't give up. The world needs your gifts. Okay, I'll get off my soapbox now. Be sure to check out my other videos.